Hello, my name is Jonis Dizoglu and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to restrict cells, uh, the specific number of a cell, uh, force a number to be displayed on a cell when something happens, and also merge cells. But the reason why I'm doing this video tutorial is because uh, I, had an, I have another video tutorial that I did uh, or which helps people to add data picker and I had the person called uh, Anam, Anam Ahmed ask me how to do this so I thought uh, if he has this question some other people find this uh, uh, basically useful this video useful as well anyway but Ahmed uh, this is mainly for you uh, so this is how basically we're gonna achieve this what I have managed to do is basically here uh, I've created an if statement I'm going to show you how to do this in a second uh, and here people will be able to put a number now if the number is not uh, 10 characters then people will be able to receive an error message like so so if I put 10 characters here it will allow me to do this and basically here I have two different cells so let's delete that so as you can see if you don't put any numbers here, you won't be able to see the number zero here. So as long as I put 10 numbers here, number zero is added automatically here, and then the, the merge cells column merging these two cells together. So the telephone number is there, and you can convert this into a hyperlink or whatever you wish. So you can basically call people. Now, how, do I, how did I do this? So let's scrub all this. Let's look at headers. Uh, delete. Yes, that's fine. Uh, let's highlight all that. Uh, go to data validation. Uh, clear all cycles. Okay. Okay. So basically, as you as you do, you put some headers there, uh, which basically will allow people to understand what is going on. So here I've put the telephone number. Uh, is only label so first of all I want to make sure that every time somebody puts a value on this column I want to basically put uh, the add number zero how do I do this? I'm going to highlight the cell D2 I'm going to go to the function tab and then I'm going to locate the if statement section and then for the logical test, I'm going to select if, and I'm going to select the cell. If the cell is greater than zero, then I want basically to display the number zero. Otherwise, I'm just going to display a space. The reason why I put space here is because if I don't put space, it's going to give me an error message called false. So I put a space bar here, press the space bar here to add the space, click OK. So as you can see, nothing happens. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go here now, and I'm just going to type a number. As you can see, because I typed a number, automatically the if statement is true, so it basically shows me the number zero. So if I replicate this formula, as soon as somebody puts a number, I've got the number zero here. So let's left align this. And I'm just going to send one in my header. So as you can see, looks quite good like that. Better. Now, if you don't want to have two different cells display the number, yes, the telephone number, what you can do, you can use concatenate. So if I go now on this cell here, I can go to uh, the uh, function. I'm going to select from the drop down list all functions. I'm going to keep typing the letter C to find concatenate. There is. So I'm going to click OK. And then the first value I want to display is double. And then the second value I want to merge is the, the cell, the cell next to it. So D2 will be first and then E2 will be second. So click OK. So D2 and E2 give 0, 4 if I change the number to whatever. So give me 0, 2, 5, 4, 5, 4. Anyway, um, 
what uh, Ahmed has asked me to do is put restriction you know, on this cell so people cannot go crazy with numbers. Okay. So let's put here. So his restriction was oh, well, okay. Let's change the format in. So right click format cells and let's go to general. Let's select number. Okay. And let's go back to format cells and let's remove the decimal places. Let's click OK. OK, that's fine. So that's better. As you can see, it doesn't matter what number I'm going to put here, the zero will be added because I've used concatenation. Um, and like I said before, because Ahmed has asked me to put restriction here, I want to make sure that I only have 10 characters here. How do I do this? So let's delete this. And let's delete this value here. I'm going to highlight all these cells, this column. I'm going to go to data, data validation, and select data validation. From the drop down list, I'm going to select <coughs> text, length, and then I'm going to select equals to, and then I'm going to select text. Do OK. Now, Ahmed, you asked me for 11 characters. I put 10 here because the 11th character is the 0. Okay, so now if I type three characters, I will receive this warning message. Let's retry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If, let's put eleven. If I put eleven, I will receive the warning. And if I put ten, it will allow me to put the ten, and then here it merges the telephone number. Now you can actually basically here make sure to highlight all that so you can go further down to replicate the if statement and the concatenation as well so you can click and drag to replicate the concatenation as you can see the formula for the concatenation is replicated now now, the problem I've got is, if I do not restrict the worksheet now, people can go there, start typing things, and my concatenation is removed. I don't want people to do this, so I'm going to put the concatenation there again. What I want people to do? I want people to be able to edit this column. So if I highlight this column, right-click, and I select Format Cells, if I go to protection, I will make sure that this is locked. By default, it's locked. If I go here, right click format cells, and here I'm going to make sure that it's unlocked so people can actually edit now. Then I'm going to highlight this, I'm going to make sure that format cells is locked as well. Okay. So far, so good. Now, if I go to the review, protect sheet, I'm just going to type the password open and then click OK. I'm going to type the password open for one more time. Okay. Now, in fact, somebody tried to type something, we will receive a warning message. If somebody tried to type here, we will receive a warning message. If people try to type here, have a look, I only put nine characters here. People will receive this warning. Let's retry. Let's put two extra characters. So I've got 11 characters again. I will receive the restriction, so if we change that to 10 characters, okay, I've got the information here. So, Ahmed, I hope this is what you were looking for. Um, I hope this tutorial will help other people as well. Thank you for watching.